two equal sum of money was invested one at 9 by 2 percentage per annum and other at 4 percentage per annum at the end of seven years. So the simple interest received from the former exceeds the received from the later by 31.50. So the each sum was. So after reading this question, you can able to see two equal sum of money. That means the principal on both the cases were same. So first you can see 9 by 2 percentage per annum, the first interest, second interest is 4 percentage per annum and year is also given that is 7 years. So here you can able to see one important word exceeds. That means when compared to the first simple interest, the second simple interest exceeds 32, 31.50. That means the difference between, I've told this many times, if I have 10 rupees, you have 20 rupees, then we can say that you have 10 rupees exceeds than me. That means more than me. So here you can able to see the both the simple interest difference is 31.50. So now solving the question is very easy. So PNR by 100, difference nothing but subtraction, PNR by 100 is equals to 31.50. So here we know that the principle is same. So 100 we can take outside. Similarly, n will be number of years. Number of years is also same. So we can say take 7 outside. So rate of interest. So first rate of interest is 9 by 2 percentage. So 9 by 2 we can take it as 4.5 minus of second rate of interest is 4 is equals to 31.50. So 7p is equals to, so here you can see 4.5 minus of 4 will be 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is equals to 3150. So while we multiplying into by 100, right? So when you multiply this by 100, so this becomes 3150. So here, so principal is equals to 3150 divided by 7 into 0.5. So 7 into 0 0.5, 3.5. So when you multiply this, this will be 900. So we can say that the answer for this question, our target is to find each sum was. That means the principal amount. So the principal amount here is 900.